We're following multiple breaking stories this hour, including Deutsche Bank indicating to a federal judge that it does have tax returns related to President Trump that have been subpoenaed by House Democrats. Uh, let's uh, dig deeper with our correspondents and our analysts and Joey Jackson. Help us make some sense out of all of this. Uh, how likely is it that something is going to emerge that House Democrats will eventually get these uh, these tax returns? Well, you know, that's the open question. So we understand that there's a process. And of course, the issue turns on whether or not it's a political fishing expedition or whether or not Congress has a legitimate legislative oversight purpose in getting these tax returns. Of course, we know that at this point, it's at the Second Circuit. What does that mean? It means that the process entails that you first go to a district court judge. Now, a district court judge, we know, did not block the congressional subpoenas. As a result of that, and as we would expect, the administration appealed. That appeal takes you from the district court, which is the first layer, to the appellate court, second circuit. That's the second layer. And what the appellate court has said to date is, listen, this is what I want you to do. Number one, I want you to be responsive to me, Deutsche Bank and Capital One, as to whether you have such returns. We understand that Deutsche Bank potentially does. Now, the second inquiry is if you have those tax returns and there is some particular reason why they should not be disclosed, you will disclose them to us in unredacted form that is the court. And to the extent that you believe their confidentiality and other issues, then what you'll do is you'll give them to the committee in redacted form.